our Chinese plank for the hamstrings. So I'm going to show you a double leg variation and then a single leg. We need to add a perturbation in to effectively train the abs and the hamstrings rather than just going slow through the movement. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to get set up so that our upper back, upper shoulders are on, heads on. We're going to lift up, heels dig into another bench or a chair. This is level one. We're digging the heels in back towards us. Very soft knee bend. You know, you can be locked out, but it'll make it a little bit easier initially just to get that sort of running knee angle. It's also good to train in this angle. And then from that position, you can either have your head up or down, whatever's comfortable. You know, lift those hips high. Make sure that we don't overly arch the back, so draw the ribs down. Tilt the pelvis under, water out the back, flattening. Weight up, and then we're going to move the weight as quick as we can. We're going to punch it up, maintaining the hip high position. My hat's falling off. Breathe out. If that's easy enough, you're going to take it above the head. Try to maintain that high hip as you go forward and back. Level two is this position. Okay, so you're going to hold this position. Show you on my right leg, high knee, do the same thing. Punch out, keep the high hip, or above the head. Keeping that high hip the whole time. And that's our single leg hamstring bridge, or Chinese plank for the hamstrings. 